All right, hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM. Joining you as usual from San Diego. And today I am joined by Raul Galera, who is all the way over in southern Spain. How are you doing, Raul? I'm doing very well, thanks. Yeah, and Raul is from referralcandy.com, referral candy. And what we're going to talk today about is word of mouth and referral marketing. Um, so, um, Raul, let, let's just baseline this from the start. When you talk about word of mouth and referral marketing, what do you mean? Because sometimes it means different things to different people. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So um, I would say that word of mouth, uh, it's the kind of like the organic um, behavior that we all, you know, we'll have as humans. Uh, we, we just love talking about um, stuff that we've done uh, and more specifically, now we're talking about e-commerce, um, about things we've bought. And so uh, word of mouth is just the, the kind of like the, the general effect of people talking about your brand and generating awareness and, and potentially generating new, new businesses around it. Um, referral marketing, it's something you can build on top of that. Um, so once you, if you have a, a business, you have a brand uh, that it's organically generating word of mouth and you're getting new, new customers because your existing customers are referring their friends and family, um, you can build a referral system uh, and a referral marketing strategy on top of that to, to capitalize on that existing word of mouth. So that, that's, that's the, main, the main difference. So what are nowadays, what are some of the things that, that will, in, will drive people to share their experiences? Because I, I, I feel like our, our expectations keep rising. <laughs> so what are, what are some of the things that you've seen that, that uh, drives people to, uh, to actually spread the word? So I would say the bottom line is to make sure that you have a good product. Um, mm -hmm. and so that, that's that's really the, the 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 bottom line. If you need to have a good product, you need to have a good um, purchase experience, and you need to have a good support system that it's there to proactively solve problems to to your customers, um, even sometimes even before they happen. And if you have all those things in place, um, and you have a strong brand, obviously your customers are going to be inclined to talk about it. Uh, like I said, we uh, especially in the past couple of years, uh, online shopping has become something that we do on a regular basis. It's it's no longer something that we do on Christmas or or Black Friday to to um, you know to get those deals. We're actually doing it on on our regular regular life. So we're more and more talking about things we bought online, um, and so that's again brands have the opportunity to capitalize on that. So. Again, you need to have those those basics ready uh, to make sure that your your brand's ready to to generate word of mouth. And then on top of that, um, we're talking about referral marketing, um, choosing the right the right incentives that you know your customers are going to enjoy, uh, whether it is a free product, uh, whether it is a, a, a discount on a future purchase, or if you're offering a subscription business, um, give them a, a discounted price on their next subscription bill. So. It really depends on, on what your business is it's offering and kind of like what the the, the purchase behavior of your customer is. Um, but again, the, the, in order to generate word of mouth, you need to have kind of like some basic uh, systems in place uh, to make sure your customers are happy and uh, will connect a little bit naturally, I'd say. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think the end-to-end -end customer experience is so is more important than ever. Particularly, as you said, that more people are transacting business online, and that's where some a companies kind of fall down where maybe you have a great purchasing experience, but you don't have a great support experience or you have a great support experience, but you don't, uh, you, it's not easy to purchase or there's lots of different things that fall up that fall out of it. So you have to really look at your end to end customer experience. Correct. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's, and that's the not, not only for uh, referral marketing or, or sure. to generate word of mouth, but I mean that's going to be the the uh, what's going to decide whether your business is going to survive. And especially these days, um, if we look at e-commerce, uh, you know what, what we experienced last year was really unprecedented. And uh, companies that before they had to look out for maybe tens of competitors, now they have hundreds of competitors going mm -hmm. after the same target market. And you need to step out of the crowd, and you need to be able to. Um, show your customer base that you're different. Um, that's something that we're starting to see a lot more uh, uh, in, in the past few few months is the fact that uh, brands are starting to tell their customers that there, there's something, there's an idea 
behind the company, behind the product, the, 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 the brand, it's not just a product. It's, it's, it's a company mission. Um, and it's, and, and the company itself can create a personal connection with their customers. Um, and so when you're able to connect at that level with your customers, uh, I mean, think about the difference between, uh, telling your friends about, Oh, I got this t-shirt online. Um, just online in general or telling your friends, Oh, I got this t-shirt from a company and you know, you can explain the reason why that company, why you chose that company and why you chose that particular product. You can create a more like a much richer uh, explanation and the referral. It's a lot more powerful. Yeah. And, and it's really interesting as well, because as more and more people have, have, have moved to shopping online and, and that is uh the referral uh, marketing that you're talking about becomes more and more important because you know, let's face it, people are, people are, you know, reviews, people are starting to get really, you know, kind of skeptical on reviews because I mean, you know, you can go on Amazon and you can see, Oh, look, they have 400 five-star reviews, but then you notice they're all like this, a hundred of them all came at one block or something a few days. So having that extra level of, um, when somebody when somebody tells you about something that's far more impressive I think or, or certainly so much more validating than just simple reviews or stars or whatever I mean your, your customers are your best salespeople because they they don't sound like salespeople uh, if you're if they're recommending something to uh, to a family member or a friend it's because they actually believe in it and they it actually works for them um, and, and, and honestly, I mean, even if you have, if you have a referral program, but you have a product that your customers are not enjoying it, the referral program is not going to work. Uh, it's not going to mm -hmm. fix a problem, uh, that your company's facing. So, um, that, that's, you know, that, that's definitely something that the brands need to keep in mind. It's, it's, you know, what's your customer satisfaction. That's what, what eventually is going to drive the success success of your referral program. And, and like you mentioned, uh, the, we're, we're, Currently, I mean, we're bombarded by by content marketing and even user generated content. Even though we're we're kind of always looking for that user generated content to get kind of mm -hmm. the real picture um, of product, because um, we know that you know, that the picture that you're seeing on the on the product page is you know it's, it's taken with you know professional photography and lighting, and it's a lot a lot, a lot different than we're gonna get at home. So we're always looking for those full reviews uh, that work really well. But but what's more powerful than reviews and and then uh, user generated content? It's a, it's a friend recommendation. Um, mm -hmm. We're you're definitely going to recommend. Sorry, you're definitely going to trust something that's coming from a source that's so close to you, uh, a friend, and also because you know that even if the friend pitches the referral program to you, you know that they wouldn't do it if they didn't actually believe in the product. So, so it's just um, the the fact that it's happening in such a small circle. Um, I think it gives it a, a lot more uh, credibility than pretty much any other marketing channel out there. No, absolutely. Um, so talk about talk about some examples of very effective referral programs. So uh, I would say that the, the ones that work really well are those that um, that have a very clear understanding of their customers' purchasing behavior, and they're able to adapt the rewards uh, to that. So uh, we work with a lot of subscription businesses, and uh, they they are uh, they offer the rewards in a way that their customers are obviously being incentivized to refer their friends, but they're also being incentivized to stay on the subscription because every time they refer a friend, they're getting uh, a discounted price on, on their next box. Um, so that's, that's an example that works really well. It doesn't really have to be just for subscription as long as you're selling a product that um, your customers are, are potentially going to buy sometimes soon. Or if you have a catalog of products that your customers can always go back to your store and, and, and choose from your catalog and buy again from you, uh, offering a discount every time you refer a friend. Um, it's something that it's going to help you not only, uh, acquire new customers, but also retain, uh, existing ones. And, uh, and also something that, uh, I, I think it, I've seen a lot of companies doing it and doing it really well is those that, uh, they, they truly understand that, referrals are happening in in the kind of like the family or friend space and so they tend to put uh a, or tend to give a bigger incentive to the friend rather than the existing customer because they know that their customers are going to refer anyway um those those recommendations are going to happen so 
it's sometimes it's, it's even more challenging to get a friend to buy for the first time uh, than your customer to actually refer because you know they're so engaged with your brand that they're they just can't can't stop talking about it. Um, so we've seen successful successful referral programs that they sometimes they will give ridiculous offers to the friend because they first of all they knew that that was going to be enough of an incentive for their customers to go out and refer. And also because they knew that if they could get the customer to buy from the store for the first time, they'll be hooked because they'll, they will love the product so much that um, it, it, that discount that they offer for the first purchase, it will make up uh, the lifetime revenue of, of that customer. Yeah, it's an interesting concept because I think that is a thing that uh, that sometimes uh, you know companies get wrong. It's that, that idea of uh, all the incentives going to acquiring the new customer and the existing customer goes great fantastic so they're getting all this and i'm not so to your point i think you know, you have to build your program with that in mind right yeah and, and also that's pretty much the the difference between uh affiliate marketing and referral marketing uh when we think of of affiliate marketing there's uh there's one person of the deal that's pretty much getting all the incentives which is the person that creates the, the recommendation but the mm -hmm. beauty of our referral program is because both of them are are getting something out of it so uh, it becomes a much better deal uh, and, and much easier to explain when somebody's going to refer a friend if they're they're both getting something out of it um but yeah so that's uh, i mean again that's it's uh, it's it's all about understanding uh how your customers are going to recommend you to their friends and family and that's something you can even do before you actually launch a referral program um, you can um, and that's also something that we we tell brands is that um, by the time they come to referral candy it's because they they have already seen referrals they have already right. maybe heard um, from a customer support chat that oh i recommended a friend um, or you know uh, th those kind of like initial um kind of like bits of of maybe there, there might be something in here um, and then they capitalize on top of that. So, yeah, no, it's 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 an excellent point, um, and the fact that that kind of comes organically to some companies, as you said, and that's why they they come to you because it almost happens by accident that they start getting um, getting referrals. Uh, then how do you how do you sustain this? Because uh, uh, and particularly hold on to these people because uh, sometimes I mean you know people do referral programs, but they're kind of one offs or they peter out or whatever over time but the thing is to try and keep keep them keep the customers engaged keep the people who they refer engaged right yeah we, we've seen some uh pretty creative ways of uh making sure that your customers are are staying uh, engaged with your uh referral program um one of the options that we offer at referral candy is what we call custom rewards uh, so if you don't want to give cash or to your customers, or if you don't want to give them uh, a coupon code uh, for every friend that they refer, uh, they can also give, I mean, what we call the custom rewards, pretty much like you know, anything. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of brands are deciding to give free products. Um, and some of them, and some, some of the cases we have on, on our website actually talk about uh, um, uh, referral programs in which maybe um, the, the, the customer recommendation it's getting an additional product every time they they or whenever they make a, a, a another purchase um so we actually have one particular example of uh, this subscription box called thread beast um and uh, they give i think it's like 50 percent discount to the friend uh for the first purchase but the customer gets um the, the customers on a subscription service um they get an additional box uh, the following the following month, so you know they keep they can keep like earning uh, more and more clothes in this case uh, for the you know every time they refer a friend. And actually, if you go on YouTube, you're gonna see a lot of people uh, doing like unboxing videos and putting their mm -hmm. referral links there because they they want to get more boxes and they want to get more more free products. Uh, so that's one. And we've also seen um, some merchants that uh, have been able to add a little bit of uh, gamification, uh, I would say, and, right. and make make their customers kind of collect different products. So let's say uh, for every five friends you refer, we'll send you uh, product number one. Uh, but if, if you refer uh, the next five friends you refer, we're going to send you product number two. And if you collect all five or 10 of them, but then there you go. You know, you've you've become kind of like the the, the referral master. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, those those typically work well because people uh, people uh, stay engaged because the the the, the rewards keep coming. Yeah, no, absolutely. I love that 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 uh, idea. Yeah, that the gamification part of it because it really does appeal to 
appeal to people. What are some uh, what are some mistakes that you've seen people make? You know that maybe they come to you because they've they've tried things and that hasn't worked out for them. Uh, to be honest, uh, uh, I would say that I, I wouldn't call it mistakes, but the the mm -hmm. two main reasons why I see referral programs now working, um, it's uh, as I mentioned earlier earlier because there's there's some sort of uh, piece in the in the purchase funnel that's not working well. Um, and customers are not too engaged with the product or the company enough to go out and refer, right. or at least the referral rates are not high enough because of that reason. Um, and then the other one that we see, um, it's just uh, that it's too early for a brand to launch a referral program. Um, not too early in terms of uh, that your customers are not going to be uh, happy with the product to refer. I mean, that's definitely going to happen, but uh, we're dealing with people and, and, and we're dealing with volume. Uh, so a referral program, it's, it's a numbers game at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I always give the, the same example. If you ask your customers, uh, if you run a net promoter score survey to your customers and you ask them if they'll be willing to refer and 99% of them say, yes, oh, um, sorry, only a fraction of those will actually end up referring. And it, it's not because they don't like your product. It's just that you know, there's a lot of things that happen in our daily lives and they'll, they'll just forget about it. So you need right. to rely on only a percentage of those actually going out and refer. So you need your pool of customers to be fairly big in order to be able to see results in the short or, or medium term. And when I say it's too early for brands, it's too early to, to be able to see meaningful results. Uh, whenever we get a brand... Um, that it's established brand with thousands of orders per month. Uh, referral candy, the referral program takes off pretty much immediately. Uh, but when we see a startup with you know maybe a couple hundred orders per month, the, the runway it's 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 a lot uh, a lot longer. Yeah, so I mean that's that's really good advice. It's, it's to make sure that you have a um, that you have s established something before you go into the referral program. Because as you said, I mean, if you're if you don't have the volume or you don't you can't, it's not something you can scale. Um, and what is what is one other just piece of advice that you would give to somebody who's considering a referral program? I would say that. Um, uh... I would say it's it's a long term strategy. Uh, you need mm -hmm. to think of it as a um, it's something that it's going to uh, scale up with time. Uh, the way that referral programs, at least with referral candy, work is that um, every time a new customer makes a purchase, we automatically invite them to uh, to join the program, and then from there on, we give them a referral link, and then uh, we can also follow up with them um, every couple of weeks just to remind them that the referral program exists and that they can benefit from it. Um, and so the 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 pool of advocates grows uh with your sales and and with your business so um it, you know like i said before unless you are a really big brand established brand with uh thousands of orders every every week or every month um you're not going to be able to see the results right away so it, it's all a matter of a kind of patience uh and, and and waiting for that but the other thing that would do is that sorry that i would that i would mention is the fact that um referral programs rely a lot on promotion. So uh, you need to constantly remind your customers um, that a referral program exists and they can benefit from it. Uh, you can let them know on their on on your newsletter or uh, on your social media, whatever platform really they hang out with. That's right, they hang out at. Uh, you can make make sure that you're joining the conversation there, and you're letting them know about the the referral program. Uh, we had uh, we have this client that's been with us for for many years, and uh, they so they make flashcards for uh, bar students, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the best channels for them was Reddit. Uh, just to go on Reddit on 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 this uh, sub forums and and just talk to people that were studying and kind of like you right. know, introduce the product there. So uh, it doesn't have to be Facebook and Twitter and you know LinkedIn. We always think about the, the traditional ones. Uh, we've seen brands that uh, leverage Quora uh, to a point that they're just being able to generate leads uh, on, on a on a regular basis. So whatever your audience is hanging out at, making make sure that uh, they're aware of you. Uh, and also a referral program. It's something that's it's a little bit. Uh, less intrusive than going with a, a sale, like kind of like a sales promotion uh, because you're, you're kind of like offering something they can benefit from. So uh, yeah, promotion um, and make sure that, that you understand that it's a, it's a long-term strategy. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think that's, that's, uh, that's fantastic advice and, uh, and uh, great insight for people. Um, so listen, Raul, this has been fantastic. All of Raul's information and, and referral candy will be below this video. But before we go, please do tell people a little bit more about what you do. 
So my role at the company, um, uh, I recently changed my title to to chief advocate, uh, but the reality is that I've been the, the partner manager for for the past five years. Um, so I I was originally hired to to build the partner program, um, and that's still uh, pretty much ninety five percent of the uh, of what I do at, at Referral Candy. Um, I I work directly with uh, with merchants, uh, also with agencies and media and tech companies that are in the e commerce world, um, and then also I I always love to participate on on anything that that means that spreading the word about about not 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 necessarily just referral candy but referral marketing in general uh i feel like it's it's been a discovery for a lot of brands uh in the past few years and uh, we just want to continue uh, uh generating more word of mouth uh, around it yeah no i couldn't agree more i mean i think it is a i think it is something that people are I mean, there's a lot of people who've been doing it really well, but there's a lot of people who are discovering it for for the first time, and probably a lot of people who uh, who maybe have tried it and and it hasn't been successful. And somebody like you coming in to to help and guide them can make all the difference. Um, listen, thanks again, uh, Raoul. Thank you. Uh, my name is John Golden, Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine, Pipeliner CRM. I will see you all for another interview really soon. Thank you. Mm-hmm.